Hello guys, so I just uh, okay. Hello guys, so I hope you are doing great. So as you guys know that I'm in Milan, and uh, if you guys didn't know that yet, please make sure to follow my Instagram, uh, Rajan Rajkumar94. I'll just drop my link in the description. So uh, there is this video which has been on hold for a very long time, which is uh, Kriti Nutrient Psychology video. I uh, got a lot of you know dms in my instagram uh, asking for this video i was supposed to do this uh, in chennai but i had no time so uh, i thought okay let me just do it here oh so basically uh, the kriti nutrient trade i'm still holding uh, when i started the trade uh, initially it was around uh, 14 lakhs profit right and then uh, the market fell and so did the kriti nutrient uh, stock and it fell up to minus two three lakhs i guess yeah some from 14 lakhs profit to minus two lakhs and then again uh, 24 lakhs profit and uh, i'm still holding currently it's around 19 to 20 lakhs profit the last time i saw uh, so yeah uh, the reason why i wanted to make this video is uh, to explain about the psychology part because uh, that is very important and uh, that makes a huge difference in trading right so the first thing first uh, if you want to uh, have a good psychology the first rule is following the risk management and position sizing i know that's a boring topic but if you follow the five percent rule uh, risk five percent or three percent whatever uh, it depends on you if you follow that obviously your psychology will be better but uh, your returns will be minimal yeah, 3% 5% rule if you follow it you can aim for 12% a year or 15% it depends but you cannot expect huge returns <coughs> but I highly suggest beginners to follow this uh, because for the at least for one or two years because uh, you cannot you know deploy capital like 10% in one trade or 20% in one trade because uh, you do not have the experience you don't know for sure if it, the stock will go up because Kriti nutrients uh, for me, I knew that it's going to go up because I've been following it for six or seven months and I did not want to exit sooner as well because I know the uh, potential is much higher than what I currently have. And this is the first rule. Okay, so the second thing that you can follow is um, have a black and white screen on your profit and loss statement. Uh, the green color and the black, uh, sorry, the red color one impacts your psychology. It has been proved and uh, in a study. Uh, that uh, having a black and white screen helps you a bit uh, in trading because this green thing and red thing does something on your mind that it doesn't help you and uh, so you can do that and the most simplest one which I normally follow is I do not look at my profit and loss statement um, I just look at my charts and that does help and I know that whenever it goes up you want to look at the profit and loss or you want to see how much you made money but uh, trust me if you don't look at the you know the console or the profit and loss uh, position um, if you just look at the chart there is a high chance that you are going to hold the trade because oftentimes what happens when you look at the uh, profits you just want to close it sooner or if you look at the loss you just don't stick to your stop loss correct so this is something that I would suggest uh, these are the three main things the third thing is the one that I follow I do not look at the profit and loss statement that often I do see it but it's very rad I mean only if I wanted to make a YouTube video or something like that uh, I look at them and um, uh, yeah the second one yes you can follow it although i haven't tried it uh, the first one i highly suggest for uh, beginners uh, at least for one or two years i suggest you to follow the risk management and position sizing i mean uh, even the experienced one they should follow risk management and position sizing what i mean is uh, the allocation the position sizing can be increased for the experienced people because you're not going to make huge returns with 5% or 3% allocation that's something for long term investors okay this doesn't mean that uh, you shouldn't follow it it's better that you follow at least <coughs> if not 3% at least as a beginner invest 5 to 6% or 7% in a position uh, your psychology will be much much better and as I said initially for the first one six months or one year your psychology will be bad and you would do things 
that uh, that is not very helpful for your trade so that is you know part and parcel of the game don't worry you just gain experience trade as much as i uh, trade as much as you could and uh, after one year try to follow the things that i said and i'm sure you will figure it out and uh, yeah i mean uh, apart from the kriti nutrient trade i still hold the mcdowell trade if you remember i think i started the trade uh, around 6 6 months back i guess it went at one point it went up to 44 lakhs i guess and right now it is sitting around 30 lakhs profit and uh, two month i mean a month or two months back it was around uh, 14 or 15 lakhs profit uh, yes it was quite hard for me to hold that uh, <coughs> yeah i still believe that it has a lot of potential and these are the main two trades that i'm still holding kriti nutrients and mcdowells uh, i hope you learn something from this video and again uh, if you want to follow my vlogs or something like that travel vlogs or something like that please make sure to follow my tamil channel and i will also upload it with my english subtitle and also do not forget to follow my instagram rajan rajkumar 94 thank you so much